After a while of playing the streamlined Nintendo games, there's a time when I want to go back and play the original Game & Watch games from the early 80s. The Game & Watch gallery games for the Nintendo Game Boy weren't legitimate Game & Watch ports. So as I wanted to play legitimate ports on the Nintendo DS, I did some searching and I found these. Game & Watch Collection 1 and 2. These were limited edition games that were only available through Club Nintendo where people could redeem their points in order to get the game. First things first, we'll look at the first Game & Watch collection for the Nintendo DS, and it first released in Japan on July 28, 2006, and two years later it finally reached North America in 2008. This collection contained three games, Oil Panic, Donkey Kong, and Greenhouse, it has a nice little collage of all different kinds of art from the games. It has a nice fold-out colored instruction booklet all throughout. And the sticker on the cartridge is nicely done. I have a Japanese version of the game, but it still works on my DS, so let's check it out. So when you first load it up, you have a selection of three games that you could scroll through. And at the bottom, there's an alarm set. And if you're hard up and you don't have anything else, you could use your Nintendo DS as an alarm clock. But getting out of that, let's take a look at the first game, Oil Panic. It first came out in North America only on May 28th, 1982. And the object of the game is to basically collect oil dripping from a pipe above in a bucket. You could only collect three of these oils at a time. And then you have to dump it into a bucket from a guy that is randomly going back and forth. And you have to time it just right. And if you toss the oil out without the guy below you, it'll spill on people down below and uh, they'll get mad at you. The next game is Donkey Kong. And it's much like any other Donkey Kong game. It first released in Japan and North America in 1982. And you just have to dodge all the barrels that Donkey Kong is throwing at you. Climb the ladders, jump again. I fail a lot trying to play this game. And you get to the top and you have to switch this lever that will start making the hook on the other side move. You have to jump through there and uh, basically beat Donkey Kong that way. Anyways, moving on to the final game, which is Greenhouse, which only released in Japan on December 16th, 1982. And the object of the game is to spray all of the critters and bugs trying to get your flowers and your crops and all that. You gotta spray it with this pesticides and there's four places that you have to periodically spray in order to keep the critters away. And if you leave one place unattended for too long, the critter will get your flowers or whatever and you will lose a life. And after three lives, you are done with the game. And that is it. That is the complete collection of the Game & Watch collection for Nintendo DS. And now the Game & Watch Collection 2, which was released in Japan in 2008, contains also three games. Well, technically three, but I only count really two in this collection. It's Parachute, Octopus, and Parachute in Octopus. The instruction booklet is basically the same like the first game. It just has a nice color fold-out kind of thing, and uh, yeah, it's pretty nice and good quality. So when you load this up, you have a very nice animated main menu. And you have two options, the games or the alarm set, which basically does the same thing as the first game. It's an alarm for your Nintendo DS. Got a business appointment? Set your alarm on your DS. All right, let's check out the games here. And there is Parachute for the first option. And if you go to the time option, it could just basically be a watch. Hence the name, Game and Watch. But anyways, let's play Parachute. It was released only in North America on June 19th, 1981. The object of this game is you're a man in a boat and you're rowing along in the water as a helicopter above is dropping all these men that are parachuting out. You got to collect them in your boat before they get into the shark infested waters below. And I noticed uh, every 10 parachuters that you catch, there are some fireworks that go off, which is a nice little touch on the top screen of your DS. And if you miss three parachuters, the shark gets them and it's game over. The next game is Octopus that was only released in North America on July 16th, 1981. And the object of this game is you are a deep sea diver and you have to reach the bottom of the ocean bed from your boat and collect treasure that's underneath the octopus. 
And the octopus has all these different tentacles. And if the tentacle that is coming at you reaches you, it's game over. The octopus grabs you and you are gone, buddy. And the final game is Parachute and Octopus, which was an exclusive game that came out when this game came out on September 5th, 2008 in Japan. Basically a combination of Parachute and Octopus. It starts off with you in the boat and you have to get 12 men. And then after you have 12 parachuters, you are able to go down to the bottom and get the treasure from the octopus. I guess Nintendo felt that, hey, we need to make this a collection more than two games. Let's just slap two games together and call it a new game. There you go. It's a collection. But anyways, I'm not a big fan of both of these games because they lack so many games that were missed out. And Nintendo could have packed these games like 10 games easily into these cartridges but they decided not to they were very stingy and it's kind of a letdown i really do hope in the future that nintendo does release all of their old game and watch collections exactly how they were back in the day and i don't know maybe but until then these are the most honest close to the original ports that you could play on a recently new generation system Anyways, that's the Game & Watch Collection 1 and 2 for the Nintendo DS. Thanks for watching.